Jerome Odella is joining me. We're getting ready to fire up the trick cars. There's been some discussion about what cars we're seeing. Tell me about the two cars. Well, uh, the two cars, one is a 1973 uh, Grant King built uh, dirt champ car. The other one is a 1951 uh, Bob Pankratz built sprint car, which is probably the prettiest sprint car ever built. The sprint car is a uh, 220 Offy four cylinder. The, the white car, the number one, is a, a 255 uh, Offy eight cylinder, which that car was driven by Al Unser. And then in, in 1970, I guess, it, it won every race in the whole season, didn't it? These cars look absolutely stunning. Stunning. They're beautiful. A 255 Offy. At the time, that was also the IndyCar engine, was it not? It was the, basically the engine of choice. It was lots of horsepower, but a very mm, particular motor. Everything had to be right or it didn't work well. Yeah, the, it was about 450 horsepower, which back then is a lot. And uh, nowadays, these car, or those Offy engines are, are rare. They're pretty dang uh, valuable and they're part of history. Okay, now let's take a second before those props come back out. You're racing, you're running this year We're on the USAC uh, midget circuit, are you not? Tell me about the ride you got. Well, I got my own midget. Uh, it's all possible through Trent Shoring. He makes it uh, all possible. But last year we won the championship, and this year we're just hanging out, having fun, hitting races every now and then. We went back to Indianapolis and raced back there. We're gonna, I'm going to race this weekend in Ventura, and... Uh, just pick and choose a few little races here and there. Turkey night on your schedule? Yeah, of course. That's my favorite. Okay. Now, when the, the roll cage, the non-roll cage model, Parnelli always used to tell me that's when drivers got brave is when roll cages came in. Would you drive a car with no roll cage in competition anymore? I don't know if I could go from a roll cage not to have a roll cage, but those guys, they didn't know, they didn't know the difference back then. They were, they were balls to the wall without a roll cage. Now, this is a dirt champ car, right? This is not a sprint car, a dirt champ car. Yeah, that's a dirt champ car with a V8 Offy, or eight-cylinder Offy. An eight-cylinder Offy. Now, this was the state-of-the-art killer model in the early 1970s. This was the one that Al Unser Sr. drove, right? That's correct. Okay. When they light them off, you and I are toast as far as this VA system. But that puppy, who, who, is it Mark Hart at that one? Yeah, that's Mark Hart. Okay. Stay back. Stay back from the wall all the way around. Mark Hart is a pretty darn competent driver, but this is the smallest track a dirt champ car ever ran on. These things like the mile. Pit gate is closed. Apparently, the other one is being uh, particular.
Okay, now wave something at him. Wave something at him. Let him know you're up in the grandstands. He can see you. He'll be giving it a look. There's way too much wheelbase, way too much motor, way too much everything for this particular size of racetrack, right? Oh, yeah. That, those things used to race on the miles, but that thing gave me chills going around here. I don't know about you guys. I see those things all the time, and that was pretty cool watching that. Who, do, who all do we have to thank for this whole uh, deal tonight? Of course, uh, Tom Malloy, Trent Shoring, uh, th th that was Mark Hart that just went out there. Wally Pankratz was in the other one, I guess it didn't run. Uh, that's a quick little story behind that one. His dad built that when he was six years old, and now 60, 60 years later, Wally's getting a chance to drive it. So they thought that was pretty cool. It is. That's way cool, man. Yeah, it was. Anyway. J Jerome Rodella, thank you, sir, for your time. And uh, I know your expertise. I didn't challenge it very much, but they're, they're going to still be on display for a while, right? Yeah, till the end of the night. So everybody go down, check them out, take some pictures. That's a part of history right there. Great. And Jerome, thank you, sir, for all of your help.